Hello, greetings. Uh, yeah, so I don't speak clearly or sometimes I not properly. So please bear with me. Uh, and how in the world am I going to save the Shias by showing them, you know, Muhammad and his all, what liars, what evil people. Oh. So whatever is written in the Quran, it's like they took it, well, it was in the, the bad in them, dirt in their hearts. So, you know, rivalry among people and all this. <clears throat> uh, so the own dirt, perhaps wrote this Quran, Prophet Muhammad, anyhow. Yeah, so this and other things. Let me first, uh, I want to clarify that uh, I haven't uh, seen the video on uh, Safiya bint Hawaii uh, from, I mean, the one that is from Haris Sultan. Maybe the contents has all this about uh, the exceptions, but the title, like, is very, uh, you know, would put off uh, Muslims that Muhammad went against his own Quran. Mm. But remember, maybe he talks about this. Remember that in the Quran, Muhammad has exceptions and he's not always called Muhammad. I don't know, three times, four times his name is mentioned, but the messenger of Allah and all this. Uh, so he, uh, the, na the messenger of Allah Nabi Allah, a uh, Nabi is mentioned, pro or pro something, yeah, yeah, Nabi, um, yeah, so it's like that. So, please bear with me. Maybe you might get a point here from this terrible English of mine. Now I have this English problem and Rasulullah and, you know, great poetic, divine good command, great command over the Arabic language, we are told. And what a miracle of the Arabic language it was. Anyhow, so back to Haris Sultan's video, just saw the title that could really put people off, Muslims. But remember, the, in the Quran, there are exceptions uh, for Rasulullah himself. He can break oaths. Like in Surah Tarim, we are told, Allah told him to break, not keep this oath anymore. That's like cancelling the oath, breaking the oath. So I say break oath and all this. And in uh, Surah Azab, we are told, and then he, he can marry beautiful women except uh, only those now. So now you cannot marry any more women. But uh, even if their beauty attract thee, Surah Azab, Ayat 52, I think. Not sure. Uh, so, you know, he has his exceptions. Iddat me kya rehna hai, rakhna hai. I mean, if you come, like, then you can, you know, uh, those ordinary iddat for exception, a married woman, in Surah Nisa mein, there's an exception. Exceptions uh, for uh, messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad. So I'm going to just say Muhammad, like the way, uh, you know, because uh, the Sunni Shias, Muslims, think it is Muhammad. And then I'm also going through P. Fender's videos. Like, was it Muhammad? Who was this person? And his name, in the Sunni Hadith, I found that he was called something else when Abu Sufyan went to Hercule, her, Herculeus, um, an uh, emperor from Byzantine. So I'm forgetting all this, see. I'm really bad at history for remembering, so I'll have to go back and uh, read word by word instead of, you know, uh, summarizing it. And I'm not, I'm not into this right now, so please excuse me for this. Uh, so you see Muhammad, back to this, that uh, Muhammad had, uh, no, so his name, it was, uh, so they were right, uh, someone was saying in 
pointing this out, uh, Abu Sufyan, or someone calls him, I don't know which hadith I read, like a, from, uh, by a different name. His name was not Muhammad, if you consider this hadith in the Sunni sources. So a lot of confusion and our alims also, Shia alims, uh, <clears throat> actually leaned much towards the family of the Prophet. So much so that, you know, everything is good, great, perfect, infallible, perfect about Prophet Muhammad and the Quran. Miracle. And Imam Ali, another miracle of uh, Prophet Muhammad. So I, I'm afraid I have to go back, do my research again. And uh, see, at the meanwhile, uh, saving meaning, I'm trying to uh, support help any kind if I can, and that you can see that he was a beast. The ones, because I know in my heart what I felt today, uh, yesterday, and the uh, day before, and hmm, before that as a Shia, right? Uh, so, crying for Saki, yani grieving in the true sense. Sakina bin Hussein. I can't go. Ah, uh, so, I just, uh, give me a minute, please. Sorry, yeah, so, I'm also very eager to go on with uh, this video of my audio. So when I was reading about uh, Safiya bin the Hawaii way, oh my God, uh, in, from this rare site which gives a rare story uh, from maybe the earlier sources or picked up from the Seerat of Prophet Muhammad where and where, you know, so gathered it and then put it in one website. So I was getting flashbacks. Then uh, she was always smiling, like we are told, as she was, that um, Sakina, four year, three year old daughter of uh, Imam Hassan. But and uh, sorry, I said, did, uh, did I say uh, Safiya was uh, seventeen years old? I think she was sixteen. So please uh, overlook these mistakes of mine. I'll try to correct uh, correct them. So as I was wondering many, many years back, um, when uh, everything failed because uh, I was feeling guilty in my life much, and uh, Mother Mary helped me, as I thought in my dreams, you know. So, you know, I started to think and about my self-esteem, so Yazid, Yazid's self-esteem. I, I started to consider like Ras Rasulullah's grandson, Imam Hussain, saying, you know who I am, I'm the son. And uh, when I read uh, Najil Balakha, Imam Ali, you know who I am, I'm the first who did this. And I was thinking that he's uh, like praising himself, but when I read G Jesus Christ in the Bible, Gospel, then the same thing. Like, they don't mean to, like, then I start to explain to myself, they don't mean to boast about themselves. <laughs> but really I felt uh, quite a boasting, and then when I was ignorant. But then, again, when you go, now when you go back, you see a different picture. The tables, as they say, have turned for us. She has, and so uh, some of us who former she has flash getting flashbacks. Sakina was always smiling. She brought peace in, uh, like my uh, so about uh, Safia, Tafia, Tafia. <laughs> so I get it. <laughs> oh, Tafia. <laughs> Tapia, <laughs> I can't light more of your darkness. <laughs> Mr. Elton John, you see me once. 
see the way i sorry i'm just an emotional wreck here i'm a very very emotional <laughs> don't let the sun go down on me although there's so i hope i'm not infringing any uh, it's not you see me once. Uh, this is from George Michael, Elton John. Mr. Elton John, <laughs> don't let the sun go down on me. See the way I feel. <sighs> so, flashbacks. Still raw. You see what they could have done. Muhammad and his heart. It is so heart wrenching. Karbala, no, no. Like now, uh, what I mean to say is that. Uh, so that's why Yazid was after them. And uh, so sorry, I haven't seen the contents back to Ar Sultan again. I have to escape that pain, that I have to feel alone when I'm on my own, Safiya. <sighs> Serves him right, that uh, Jewish lady gave him poison. Of course, slaughtering, slaughtering, marrying, exceptions, and you can't marry married women except for those women whom your right hands possess. So what Dr. David Wood is right. And his Ayurveda, maybe even a Jewish lady was uh, testing him to see, yeah, if you are, like they told Socrates, have the poison, Socrates took the poison, right? But that was not on a test. However, this beast, sorry, I have to talk monster, tyrant, and using God, and then using their, perhaps stealing from the Umayyad, Quraysh, idol worshippers, stealing from the Jews, then Christians. And what is this mobile? that uh, the Jesus Christ likenesses of Adam. He was the first, I just couldn't get it. Been trying to, excuse me, been trying to read, read. It just does, it falls apart. How can the first created man without a father, mother, if you uh, then bring him down? Adam came down, he had a fall. like. He was made for the earth. It wasn't like the fall. We don't call it a fall. Anyways, he fell. He fell down. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't even have a mother and father. He had no progeny or anything. Bibi Maria had a mother and father. So, shouldn't God have... Okay, so he was brought down... Uh, now all that from the water and the cells forming and man evolution taking place, please. That would, if even Allama Madlisi explains it to me, I will not agree to it. Because you see, this whole thing fails. How did Adam was created up there somewhere in a high place, or up wherever high, we say high, most high, Ali. Okay. Just uh, so you know, the most mutali, wherever this high place was near proximity to Allah, he was created there. So, I mean, then he had to come down, he was sent down here on earth, he was made for earth, he was sent to earth without a mother and father, and even Eve, Hava. So how did that, we're not, 
they haven't explained that and then they say the likeness uh, e the mobile avishyas have and the verse is in the Quran Ali Imran I sometimes say uh, Surah Mehta and I think it's in Ali Imran the verse uh, bring your children and yourselves and your women and others and then the whole detail is given by the Shias in detail hadith is uh, translated no narrated uh, given to us by our Imams so this uh, thing doesn't make sense to me really didn't make sense to me before also you have to come up with a better better reason like uh, of course God can uh, do miracles then it uh, then one Adam was created many Adams many lives many masters so it doesn't make sense to me if, uh, so I have to see if um, the Shias and I better be like coming up with good reasons and serious soberness otherwise who will take me seriously I have a progeny holy progeny we have thoroughly purified you with thorough purification first step where Bibi Sukhra was I was we were told I would have gone Imam Hussain leaving Bibi Sukhra in Medina Masai has started or not, I just ended now. So that's why uh, it was very, very tough, very tough, very tough to expose this, all this. And uh, looking through the other hadiths, searching outside of Alima. I, I just cannot take injustice in the least bit anymore. So maybe I will take a break, I don't know, but my audios will not be of uh, good uh, uh, quality. Arguments will fall apart. I'll start laughing, cracking up. <laughs> but I will still do this, I guess, because... So the pain is there. So little by little, okay? Ah, so, Safiya, okay? I mean, how, you know, flashbacks coming, how, oh, this thing, oh, it doesn't stop. Like, it does stop sometimes, but, you know, how they could, all this, tables turned. Umayyad Allah, cry for the Allah, and please, how could this man do this? So, I still have a lot of uh, research to do and then to get the words out properly but those helping me on YouTube I'm much grateful to, to them Dr. David Woods can speak quite fast and uh, cover things I can't I'm so so I'm very grateful to you all the ex-Muslims ex, -Muslims, ex uh, you know, Christians, although, like some people get put off that Dr. David Wood is an evangelist Christian. And so what is he saying? Does he have the right to criticize? So that's why I also have to uh, contribute a little bit as much as I can. And of course, I'm in this now. And for my own sake. And helping myself too. And at the same time, wanting to help others. So please bear with me. And uh, this uh, video may not be of good quality, great reasoning, uh, great references coming out, you know, from the sources, Islamic sources. But uh, just know that I guess I don't have much words. Words don't come easy to me. How can I find? A way to make you feel I love you. Words don't come easy. This is just a simple song. It was a chart. Oh, well, it was like in the 80s. Now I've forgotten. Words don't come easy. Bye. So this is a song. Okay, I'll end here and then. Sorry, my energy and uh, shock and 
so sharing so I would like some support understanding arts to cooperate please thank you so much